Hey guys, happy Sunday. We're chilling around the warehouse. Hope you're having a great Sunday as well. Uh, please excuse the length of this video, but I need to give you a little background because it's, uh, it's a personal video. This is non-political. This is all personal stuff. As many of you know, uh, Nancy and I suffered the loss of both of our children. Rebecca, our daughter, died in 2009. Our son, Justin, passed away in 2014, both in the month of April. April is also my dad's birth month, so you know how I miss him. So April has always been kind of a struggle for us. Um, as T.S. Eliot said, April's the cruelest month, right? Uh, and we kind of, we, we felt that way since 2009. So we take April and just kind of, you know, do what we could to avoid it as much as possible and then wait for May to get here, right? And I'd take some time off from the show and she'd take some time off from the travel company or whatever. Well, we're, Saturday and Sunday mornings are our time to have coffee and chat. So we're sitting there at the end of March, and she says, let's redeem April. You know, let's not let April be this way to us anymore. Let's let's win in April. And I said, yeah, let's do it. So we've been looking for little ways and little things that we could do that are positive things for, for April. Well, here's a positive thing that happened to us. Uh, our daughter, Rebecca, left us with two beautiful gifts in our grandkids. I'm going to show you Rebecca real quick. This is a, a, a picture that hangs in my office. That's Rebecca. She's in a classroom. She was a teacher of preschool kids. So anyway, uh, Zoe is uh, going to be 17 in August, and next year she'll be a senior in high school. Annabelle is 14 now, and she will be a freshman in high school next year. Okay. So all throughout her high school career, Zoe's been on the dance team. This past year, her junior year, she was uh, on the elite squad and an officer. She wanted to try out for that position again. And Annabelle wanted to try out for the JV squad. So they went through the camps, and those of you who've gone through this as moms and dads and grandmas and grandpas, you know exactly what I'm talking about, all the hard work that these young ladies put in, right? Well, Friday was tryout day, so we're on pins and needles all day, and they don't find out till Friday night. So Friday night, Nancy and I are sitting there on the couch, you know, just hanging on, and we get a text from both of them at 9 o'clock, and they both made it. <laughs> Zoe, for her senior year, is going back on the elite squad as an officer, and Annabelle is going on the JV squad. So they're one year together in high school. They're going to share. They'll be on the, on the dance team together. That's a really cool thing. And that's one of those things to you know that helps us redeem April. Uh, congratulations to you young ladies and moms and dads and grandmas and grandpas who have made it so far and, and are on the squads. That's really cool. Way to go. Um, I, 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 as far as redeeming things, you know, our God is a God of redemption. He redeems our souls. Um, Revelation 20 is a whole chapter about how he's going to redeem everything, the planet. He's going to get rid of death. It's no longer going to exist. He's going to personally wipe every tear off your eye. Everything is going to be made new. Revelation 20, just pick it up and read it. It's an awesome chapter of the God of redemption. For those of you who are struggling, I would just say, don't ever give in. Don't ever give up. It's just one step, one step. And if you can do one step and one step at a time, the next thing you know, you're way down the road and things are better. And let me tell you something, from, from somebody who's been there and somebody who's there now, it does get better. It does. It really, really gets better. You hang in there. God bless you.